Hello, I'm Fred Ashbury. I'm Editor-in-Chief of the Multinational Association of Supportive Care and Cancer's journal called Supportive Care and Cancer. I've been its Editor-in-Chief for 15 years. I'm also a professor in, in the Department of Internal Medicine and Medical Oncology at The Ohio State University. Uh, if you're uh, familiar with the Mass Journal, you'll be aware that it's an international journal. Its focus is on publishing high-quality articles and reviews that focus on uh, the symptoms and side effects of cancer and cancer therapies. Uh, the journal has uh, been publishing for more than 30 years. The breadth of supportive care requires that the journal can respond to different areas, including quality of life, communication, physical symptoms, psychosocial sequelae of cancer, and so on. Uh, we receive roughly 300 papers a month to be adjudicated, uh, which obviously represents the, the work that's taking place by interested people in this area to ensure that cancer patients can participate in the programs of therapy and post-therapy uh, successfully. If you're interested in uh, publishing in the journal, uh, you go online to support of care and cancer, determine what paper type, look at the instructions to authors for submission, and I would look forward to receiving those papers to be peer-reviewed for publication consideration. More recently, we created some special sections of the journal de dedicated to topics of uh, more urgent, if you will, uh, focus in supportive oncology. So as an example, uh, we have a section called Cancer Disparities. Uh, papers in this area focus on all matters of disparity and uh, as we can see and, and know from the uh, publications in this space, many of these papers uh, need to be published on interventions that can support people uh, from different groups. We also have a section dedicated to cancer pain and emerging approaches to cancer pain. I'm contemplating creating a section on emerging uh, toxicities uh, that relate to novel therapies from omics guided uh, therapeutic interventions. Uh, as we see many of these symptoms and side effects of these therapies, while we may call them by the same name, the behaviors are different and therefore require different approaches uh, to help solve them. Uh, we have sections as well dedicated to topics such as the longer term sequelae of COVID in cancer patient population. So again, I would urge you to go to the journal's website, look at these different sections and opportunities. And uh, if you have questions about the journal, please feel free to reach out if you would like to determine if the uh, paper would be suitable or not for the journal in terms of topics that we cover. Of course, it will be peer-reviewed upon uh, acceptance at the submission level, uh, go through that peer review process, and then the outcome, of course, can vary. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to Onka Daily on YouTube. Hit the bell icon to stay updated.